welcome to America Reads. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. Hi everyone, my name is Lexi and this is Ringo. Ringo is going to help us with our lesson today on storytelling. Today, we are going to read a story about Ringo, draw some pictures, and put them in order. I am so excited. Let's get started with today's video. In our video today, we are going to read this story, What Would Ringo Do? I am going to read this story. Make sure that you are listening to all the things that Ringo is doing. Ringo is a bad dog. Ringo would bark at people. Ringo would eat shoes. Ringo would jump on the bed. Ringo would not listen. Ringo would run outside. Ringo is a bad dog. Wow, what a great story. Thanks for sharing, Ringo. As you were listening to the story, what did you notice? You can see that there are no pictures in the entire story. Do you remember the order of events that happened? Sometimes it's hard to know the order of events when there's no pictures to help us out. This makes us think, hmm, how can we remember the order of a story? Let me show you how we can do this together. On this sheet of paper, you can see that I have the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. You can also see that I have five different pictures of Ringo. We can try and use these pictures to remind us of the order of events within the story. Within the story, Ringo went through five different events. One, two, three, four, and five. This is why there's five places and five different pictures of Ringo. Let's look at this first picture, which is of Ringo jumping on the bed. When did this happen in the story? We can go back to our story to figure it out. Well, it can't be in the first spot because that's when Ringo barked at people. It also isn't in the second spot because that's when Ringo was eating shoes. But look at the third line. It says Ringo would jump on the bed. Now we know that this picture goes in the third spot in our timeline. Great job figuring this out, everyone. Now let's move on to another picture. Let's look at this picture where Ringo is wearing headphones and clearly isn't listening. Where does this take place in the story? Let's go back and look. Well, it can't be the first line because that's when he was barking at people. It also can't be the second line because that's when he was eating his shoes. And we know it can't be the third line because we already have Ringo jumping on the bed. But look at this fourth line. It says Ringo would not listen. We know that this picture of Ringo not listening goes in the fourth spot on our timeline. We still have three more pictures to go. Let's look at this picture, which is of Ringo barking. Now, let's look back at our story once more. We can see that in the first line, it says Ringo would bark at people. Well, now we know that this picture goes in the first spot of our timeline. Look at our order of events of Ringo's story coming together. Now, we only have the second and the fifth spot left to go. And we still have two more pictures. Let's go through another one together. Let's look at this picture right here. This is the picture of Ringo outside. We know that we only have the second and fifth spot left. Let's only look at the second and the fifth line of Ringo's story. Well, right here in the second line, it says that Ringo was eating shoes. So we know that it's not in the second line. But in the fifth line, it says Ringo was running outside. 
Now, we easily know that this picture goes in the fifth spot of our timeline. Now that this is our last picture, which is of Ringo eating his shoes, we know that it has to go in the second spot because that's the last one that's left. Great job, everyone! Now we know how to create pictures and use them to place the events in order of the story. And everyone, give a big applause to Ringo for helping us out today. I hope you all learned something and are now able to create drawings for yourself to help you determine the order of events within a story. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn more. Please like and subscribe to our channel and we will be back with more videos.